Hi, sorry for the ratty look. I'm going over to my girlfriend's house. We're gonna go do water aerobics and have a barbecue. So this is perfect for today. But I really wanted to tell you all about Bob Wells, the whole truth, how I met him and everything, and what he's really like. Cause you know what? No Man Land is a great movie and everything. And I love Francis McDermott, but I think you all should know the truth about Bob. Okay, so here he goes. Let me get to my notes. All right, so we all meet Bob online, you know, um, and I started watching his videos in 2008, and I think I connected with him in 2011. I heard he was driving through Victorville, and so he agreed to meet me for lunch, and of course he is cheap, and we stopped for a slice of pizza, but that's okay, that's who he is, and uh, you know, he had to go 30 minutes out of his way just to meet up with me and I had to go 30 minutes so you know okay the meeting went fine and uh, he gave me the scoop on being uh, homeless or living in my vehicle but I told him you know I'm living in a shelter right now I'm okay so that was the first meeting and so then I was with him at the first rubber tramp rendezvous okay and the first RTR only had eight people there can you believe that eight and it was great and, you know, Bob, you know, he would uh, say, Terry, you don't know how to live in a vehicle. I had a Chevy van at the time. So he would actually drive me around and he'd say, okay, Terry, you need to fill up your water jugs. Here's how you get water. Um, here's how to, here's where to take a shower. Here's where to dump your trash. I mean, he was just given and given and given me this information. Can you believe that? So then... The crazy thing is he found out I was sleeping on the floor of my van and it was freezing cold out there. And he said, no, Terry, no, we need to build up a platform bed for you and you'll be much warmer. And I'm like, Bob, I don't know how to build anything. So you know what he did? He got a crew of people together and built me a bed. Isn't that outrageous? How dare him help me? Oh my God, the guy is so unselfish, it's pathetic. So. Back to the shelter I went, and uh, I was having this social worker tell me, you don't want to be homeless. And I told Bill, my social worker, all about Bob Wells. Now, that's what's not true in the video. He does not look like Santa Claus, or at least not to me. I called him Papa Smurf at the time. And I was telling my social worker, no, I think I want to be homeless and live in my vehicle. And Bob does it. And the guy's like, well, who's Bob? And I go, well, he's this homeless guy. He has this long white hair. He looks like Papa Smurf, Smurf, Papa Smurf, and he lives in the forest. And my socials work, oh, hell no. So the next RTR came around and I was uh, there and I could help out a little. So I helped Bob put the sign up and everything. And this time there was 40 people there. And I was starting to get to know the real Bob. And that's what I want you to know, the real Bob. So. Bob talked a lot about solar and I was like, you know what? I would like a refrigerator and solar, but I have no idea how to do it. I don't know how to order the stuff online. I, I didn't even know what Amazon was. And Bob's like, he said, fine, you know what? You give me the money, I'll buy all the parts for you. I'll go pick them up and I will get a crew together and we'll put solar on your fridge so you can have cold food. And I'm like, Bob, you're gonna do that for me? And sure enough, there he goes. He ordered everything for me. I mean, the controllers, the solar panels, the refrigerator. I mean, he researched so I could get the best price possible. And then he assembled a crew and they put solar on my roof. Um, that's incredible. And you know, it's like, you know, he was there with me when I'd have panic attacks and I'd say, Bob, can you hug me? And you know, and he would, he'd be like, Terry, is there anything I can get you at the store, you know, while you recover? And it's like, no, Bob, I'm fine, thank you. I mean, can you believe that? I mean, he would actually come and check in on me? Oh my gosh. But, you know, here's my uh, takeaway from Bob. Um, he started the RTR when there was eight people and he was really shy back then and he needs his alone time. And now all of a sudden, you know, there's 10,000 people showing up and uh, you know, he does need a space and you know, I don't know whether it's PTSD, I have bad PTSD and we all need our space. Um, so, you know, very friendly, walk up to us, ask if uh, it's okay to say hi. And um, you know, like I said, that was Bob. Uh, in the movie, he was a wonderful, caring individual. And it's funny, in the movie, I looked like Fern. I mean, I had lost everything I had. I had left my husband, lost my home, lost my town, because I was in the 
witless protection program to where no one could find me, lost all my friends, couldn't talk to them. Um, so, you know, um, but Bob, he was able to help me pick, just like in the movie, he, he was there. I mean, if I could do something, he would let me help. He would, he wanted to empower me so I could take care of myself. And that's exactly what Bob is. So is he identical to the movie? Yes, he is. Is he very uh, shy or need to go into his man cave? Yes, he does. But if you really need help, and I know if I ever need help again, he would be there for me in a second. All right, I wanted to clear that up because I had seen a lot of stuff on Bob really can't be that nice. And yeah, he is that kind and caring. And someday when I'm really able to, I will be out there helping on his Home on Wheels Alliance because I know there's a lot of people that need help. All right, you all have a good day. Bye-bye.